Hi, Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera semua. So today we'll be learning about marketing mix. Um, marketing mix typically they have the classical one, which is the four P's: the product, price, place, and promotion. All these marketing mix influence each other. You can use this as a set of tactics to do your promotions or your branding for your products or services. So the classical one or typical one is the four piece which sometimes you can hear from other marketers. Um, the product, price, place and promotion. So let me take an example of a pen here. So this pen, what is this pen? Um, what does it give value to your customers? Uh, it is, uh, does it satisfy the customer's needs of writing? Can it last longer in cold or in heat? Okay, um, does it have a grip? Okay, how does it compare to the other pens out there? Okay, um, that is product. And how much is the price of this pen? Is it one ringgit, two ringgit, three ringgit? So price, it, it, um, you can determine the price based on the cost of uh, producing this product or services okay and the next one is the place where actually did I get this product um, did I get it from a online store offline store so here you can think of the distribution channel how did this product got delivered to your customers okay um, so the place if you think about it it's all about the location 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 where do you open up your store it is very important or um, how do you make sure other people know that your store online store offline store exists so place your stores at where people can see at um, the highest traffic where people come come and pass by okay you don't want to open up a store that there's no way or no people go to that place at all so the next p is the promotion how did i get to know about this pen here um did i get to know about this pen through an online marketing online promotion an advertisement online social media or did I get to know this pen this is a good pen through my family my friends through word of mouth okay um, so you need to think about the promotion whether it's offline or online okay so all these are connected to each other in determining how you pro um, promote your product or your services um, however this four piece can be extended to seven piece another three piece which is the physical evidence the process and also the people um, this is very important especially for services okay um, it can be applied for products as well right um, especially when you are online so um, in services, services is intangible. You can't see it, you can't feel it, you can't smell it or whatsoever. So in services, um, you need some physical evidence, whether your um, services can be um, uh, portrayed by a physical evidence, for example, a building, a store, a physical store. So here, um, for a hotel industry, you need a building, a hotel, a room to symbolize your service of a um, hospitality service. You need a restaurant to symbolize your dining service for the customers, for your guests. Okay, the next one is people. Who are the people who are in contact with your customers? All right, so these are the people who are delivering your product or your services to your customers. Here, um, especially in service industry, it is quite important because like I mentioned, it's not something you can touch or you can feel. It's not uh, tangible, so you can't see it. So here, who will be delivering it? Okay, they represent the service. They are the face of that service. So here, for example, the hotel industry, the hotel employees represent their hotels their hospitality um, towards their customers okay so the next one is the process this is the last one the process is where it determines how do you deliver um, the process of delivering this product 
to your customers. So for example, in the service industry, I'm taking hotel industry again. Um, how did this the process from the um, customers um, arriving at the hotel until they leave the hotel? That is one of the process that you can see from they, they coming to the hotel, from your doorman open the door, their car door, they lead to the check-in process and then somebody lead them to their room and then they can actually go throughout the hotel and then experience things until they leave the hotel. What happens also after they leave the hotel? Do they get a good ser um, customer service? Do they get um, follow-up process afterwards? So here you have to think about the whole thing, right? So all these P's are connected to each other. It influences each other. It can help you in determining how you do your promotions to your customers and also your services to your customers. So that's about it. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.